Hi guys, I'm Laura and today I'll tell you about the story of the mocha and also we'll see a video where I make coffee for you. So the mocha was invented by the Italian Alfonso Bialetti in 1933 and this was a very important moment because before this invention if an Italian wanted to drink a coffee he or she had to go to a bar well there were also some machines to make coffee at home but it was not so common for example there were a machine called caffettiera napolita napoletana napolitan caffettiera yeah that i show here in the picture so Italians actually could make coffee in their houses before the invention of the mocha but it wasn't so easy, it was like uh, a bit dangerous and also it wasn't so, so cheap and it wasn't so easy so this invention of the mocha was really revolutionary because uh, yeah all Italians now could make their coffee in their house and we know that for Italians is a really important thing the coffee the base model is in aluminum so it's grey, totally grey and with a um, backlight handle now I want to show you one of the mochas that I have in my house and this is a original Bialetti mocha so you can see that it's original because there is the icon and it's written Bialetti this is a really special model because it's called rainbow model and the particularity of this one is that it, it is colored we see that this is orange and you can find it also in other colors for example yellow I see also in pink and in green too and I think there is also white or red and other colors and I like them a lot because I think they give you happiness and I don't know because also I like a lot the colors do you know what do you have to be careful if you want to see if a mocha is original or not well there are two things you have to be careful about the first is obviously the name the icon and the name Bialetti but the second one is these sides the original mocha has eight sides so you can see that here we have one two three four five six seven and eight sides now i will show you other two other mochas that i have that are some that they aren't original so for example i have one that yeah it's called it's called the caldo cafe and we see that there are 11 sides not 8 but 11 so yeah 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 sides yeah and so it's quite uh, the same but it's in aluminum the backlight handle but it's not written in Bialetti and Bialetti and there are more sides and this one is the same it's not original because it's 11 sides too so we saw that you can make from 1 to 11 12 coffees it depends on the size of the mocha and i also want to tell you the different names where you can find mochas all around the world for example uh, they say that in spain you can they call this type of mocha napolitano 
or I don't know why, Napolitano, or Caffetera de Rosca, or Caffetera de Fuego, or Italiano. And in Portugal or in Brazil, they called it Caffetera Italiano or Caffetera Girosca. So it's like the same. So mocha is a really an Italian design object and you can find it in two museums. You can find it in the Triennale Design Museum of Milano and you can find it also in the MoMA of New York City. So I want to tell you a particularity. Once you make the coffee, you will open your, your mocha to clean it and be careful you only have to clean it with water and you will find the, the coffee like in this state and what can you do instead of throwing it away you can throw it in the plants and it could be a really good fertilizer so in the next part of the video, we will see how to make coffee. Thank you guys to have seen this video i hope you liked it and if you liked put a like or follow me thanks a lot and have a good day see you in the next video ciao arrivederci